Well, buzz, buzz, bitches. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is EJ, and in this video, we have a lot to talk about. Amazon Prime just dropped a new TV show, and we need to jump into it. Oh my goodness, if you're a fan of Beyonce, if you think fan online culture is wild, or if you love the work of Donald Glover, we need to talk about Swarm. No pun intended, but Swarm had some buzz around it. If you know the world of Donald Glover, Atlanta just wrapped, and it was a pretty big deal. It's a surreal, trippy show based in the world of hip-hop, but it's much more than that. And similar, Swarm is about a fan who is obsessed with a big, major R&B pop star and the crazy lengths she will go to either meet her or defend her. It's a pretty basic plot, but each episode has so much oddities to it. It is such a weird show. Sometimes I do think it's a bit weird just to be weird. There's a lot of things that I'm like, this narrative could have been better with a bit more of a straight up like storytelling method. It tries to get weird. It tries to get surreal. Episode six throws us into like a mini documentary. There is a lot of a lot of this show. Like each episode's 30 minutes, but I feel like I had a full meal after each one. It's weird, though I do wish some episodes were longer because I like that story. We quickly move on to different like tales over these couple years, and I'm just like, but I want more of that. Oh, that weird cult episode. We will talk about that cult episode. I, I'm, I would listen to Miss Eva. Let her brand me. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, there's a lot of these episodes that are good, but they just, they, they move on so fast that I'm like, but that was such a good storytelling. It's it's good. I like a lot of what's here. Again, I don't love it. I, 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 I could love it. The more I sit on it, the more I appreciate the conversations it starts. The acting. We will talk about Dominique Fishback for 55 minutes if I need what a powerhouse performer. Yeah, but there's a lot here. It's just an overwhelming show. I think, like, I lived through this time period of, like, the, the Lemonade scandal, Beyonce and Jay-Z and Solange fighting in the elevator, all of that stuff, Coachella. There's a lot in this that they do discuss, and I'm a fan of pop culture. I used to love celebrity gossip, so I really think there's a lot to talk about, but it's just, like, each episode, I'm like, oh my God, Dre, why are we doing this? Every time she picks up something heavy to beat somebody with, I'm like, oh my God, Dre, don't ask them who their favorite artist is. Oh my God, she did. Like each episode, it's frustrating. It's, it's hard to watch at times. There's a lot here that I'm like, whoa, you were talking about that. You were diving into it. You were discussing it so frankly. Like, there's small little things. Like, she meets, Dre meets a guy who is, like, trying to recover from, like, an eating problem. And their scene where they eat a bunch of junk food together made me so uncomfortable. Like, it's little stuff like that. The filmmakers here know exactly the tone, style, and what they want to do, and they deliver on that. Dre is a young woman obsessed with a pop star named Nyjah. She is basically an equivalent to Beyonce. There is a group of the fans called The Swarm, which is the beehive. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities. They're definitely not trying to hide it. Literally, images you see of Nyjah is just images of Beyonce, basically. Like, costumes, look, aesthetics, attire. There's a lot there. So we're watching Dre basically have her life r ruined in this first episode. Everything she thought she knew that she was comfortable with takes a complete left turn and she decides to take her life into her own hands. She says, you know what? You hurt my family. You hurt my queen icon, my legend. I'm gonna hurt you. And she goes on a rampage. Like, she goes through so much stuff. Like, the body count on this show impressed me. There is just a lot here. So we're watching Dre kill one person, have to hide that. So that leads her into another scenario, which all of this is the backdrop of Nyjah's husband possibly cheating on her. And then, oh my God, that episode where Dre bites her in the face. That's a whole controversy. What was that? Oh my God, I forgot when someone bit Beyonce. I was just about to say, what is this a reference to? I forgot that's a thing that legit happened. And we talked about it and we went on talk shows and that was a thing. Holy hell, this show has layers that I'm forgetting. But yeah, so Dre is basically kind of going through hometowns to LA to all these different places and trying to meet Nyjah, trying to get into her life, but also just trying to satisfy this bloodlust that she's gaining. Truly, uh, Dre likes to kill people and it's, it's weird to watch because this character is fun to watch. She makes me laugh at stuff, but she's not a good character. Like I saw someone online says, this is basically like the, the black girl equivalent of Pearl where you're like, 
the bitch is crazy, but I feel her. I sympathize. Maybe, you're, oh, oh, we went over the line where I think you're now just way too crazy. It's really good to see. And at the center of this is Dominique Fishback giving a master class of acting. There's a scene that made me fall in love with her as a talent forever. It is one of the most chilling scenes. It is the episode that's in the cult where Billie Eilish's character, Eva is, yes, Billie Eilish is here. Eva is hypnotizing her. And oh my God, the acting, the little singular tear that comes out of Dominique's face, it's giving me Daniel Kaluuya in Get Out. Actually, that whole episode has a Get Out Midsommar vibe. Love it. Love it. Love it. We'll talk about episodes individually in a moment. But yeah, I just really wanted to talk about the basic story. And we're watching just Dre be crazy. And Dominic Fishback carries this. Even when I think the narrative of the show gets too weird, the season finale or the just the finale, that is a that's a, an experience, that weird documentary episode, the one she sees her parents. We're watching this character go through tragedy and struggles. And I'm feeling for her and I'm vibing with her. But at the same time, I'm like, honestly, I... I don't know. I don't know. Like it, this is a this is a complex character. I have not seen a layered TV character like this in quite some time, and I'm so happy she exists. So since the show kind of jumps between episodes, we're meeting new characters, new actors. There's a lot of people in this show. Like Ricky Thompson, who is a big social media guy. I think he is one of the funniest people online. Has a quick little cameo in one episode. Love that. We also have Chloe Bailey, who is a main focus she is throughout like she is in the first episode something happens to her so she's not in the main like narrative of it but she keeps popping up in a lot of surreal moments we also have Billie eilish in one episode playing a cult leader <clears throat> that running scared episode where Billie eilish is in this weird sex cult with all these women it's a challenge. But before that, we're, we're in the strip club episode. I love that. We're in the LA episode where there's this kind of like Trump supporting-ish kind of political figurehead who's talking trash. Each one of these people is getting what they need to happen to them. It's complex. It's layered. Again, all these characters. There's one episode we see Paris Jackson who's playing like a parody of Halsey-ish, a stripper named Halsey. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Like it's just wild of these characters, these stories. All of the acting, I really love the the girlfriend-ish character we meet at the very end of the show. That's really good. The episode where we see Dre's parents, I love that as well. Again, these are really fine episodes that are almost too short. These stories could be longer one hour, like almost mini-movies. Each episode has a mini-movie quality. And at about 35 minutes about an episode, it, it does get me to the point where I'm like, I like these people. Like, I love the, the Paris Jackson character. Great. I love the Billie Eilish cult. And then they're just kind of gone in the next episode and we move forward. It's not a horrible narrative choice. It gives the show an anthology vibe. So I do appreciate that. But again, as a fan of a lot of these stories presenting, I'm just like, oh, I love it. And it's gone. Oh, I love it. It's gone. But thankfully, again, Dominic Fishback's Dre kind of carrying us through really makes it such a watch. The, the, truly, if you don't even love the story, watch it for the damn great acting from everyone, but specifically Miss Dominique as our lead crazy woman. While this may not be the crazy massive hit that Donald Glover had with Atlanta, I really think Swarm is going to be one of the buzziest things of this year. It really dives into toxic fan culture. It really gets into the craziness of social media and how the media plays into the fan wars and all of it. It's just a, it's a melting pot of insanity. Donald Glover, who has performed as Childish Gambino before, is definitely so scared of fame. Like, it seems like the Hollywood life terrifies him, and he's always discussing it and critiquing it. And I do appreciate that. This is a very good look at a very specific sub a very real thing like each episode tells you this is not a work of fiction because this is real like a lot of these stories are based on real things a lot of the events with the Niger character are real it's interesting these are conversations that need to be had and I definitely think it's going to be a massive conversation starter what did you think of Swarm did you watch the whole first season because wow I cannot believe I'm not a binge person I wish this came out weekly Maybe not, you know, I, I, I like my weekly releases, but I binged this, ate this up, and had a decent time with it. I like it. It's pretty strong. What did you think? Share your feelings down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. All right, everyone, let's talk about Swarm, Beyonce, insane fan stuff down below.